Okay, I'm going to show you how to open a file in Photoshop and change the image size to 300 dpi so that you can use it in the Create Space book. Um, it's a little bit late, so forgive me if I stutter. <laughs> okay, the first thing you're going to do is go to your file and you're going to open up the file that you want to use in your book. Um, I found a really neat um, mandala that I wanted to use. So I'm going to open that up, put it in here, and this is the one that actually I just did to show you the screenshot by screenshot. So this is what your final one is going to look like. So let's get the JPEG one. Okay, let me open up this one. Okay, the first thing we want to do is see how big it is. Um, let's say we're making a book that's eight and a half um, by 11 inches, like a standard sheet of paper, which I would want to use for a coloring book. Um, so I will go up here to image, and I'm going to go to image size, and it's already seven and a half inches wide, which is going to be pretty good because I'll have margins that I had to put the image in when we pull it into InDesign to make sure it fits in the book. So we're going to leave it. A seven and a half, and this is seven and a half, and that means that they're tied together. This little thing means that they're the height and width are tied together is going to be proportional. So if I change this to eight, it's going to automatically change the height. So I want to move it back to seven point five. Um, whoops, not seventy five. Okay. If I unlock this, then I can change each one, and it without it affecting the other. Okay, but I don't really want to do that. So, I'm going to leave this together. I do want to change the resolution to 300 pixels per inch. Okay, and you can see it looks a tiny bit blurry. But we're going to go ahead and say, okay, that's what we want to do. Let's see how it makes the image a lot bigger. Okay, that's because we changed the resolution. So, it's going to look a little bit different. So, we just want to go to view. We want to go to fit on screen. And that's what your image looks like. Now we want to make sure it stays pretty sharp when we import it into InDesign because we want it to be really sharp for our final book. So we're going to go up here to Filter. And we're going to go down to Sharpen and Smart Sharpen. Okay, I already have this set. But see, you can move this slider. And it's going to change over here a little bit and be like crisper or not crisp. Let's move it to like 262. You can see a little bit of a difference. Maybe a little bit more. You can see all that. You can change the radius. See what this does. You see, we don't really want it to look like that. So we're going to move it back down to around 1. Point 0 0.9 is okay. Let's see what happens when we reduce the noise. Okay. Not much. It may take out a little bit of this stuff. Um, Go down to zero. See how you have more? It looks a little bit dirty in between there. And how when we move this, it looks a little bit cleaner. So you can move that around and see where you want it. We're just going to leave it. Let's just say we're going to leave it right there. Okay, so you're going to hit OK. See this little dot's going? It means it's saving. Okay, now we want to save this image. We're going to save it as. Because we don't necessarily have to change. Um, the original, we'll just save it as something else, and then we still have the original um, to pull into a different project or make a different size or do whatever we want. I'm going to go ahead and save it as um, a Photoshop PDF. We can change it, I and mean, we can save it as a JPEG or a PNG or um, either one of those, those three files we can pull into InDesign to make sure it's going to fit in our book. I'm just going to go ahead and save it as a Photoshop PDF because when I export the book, all of my images need to be in PDF form um, for Create Space anyway. And if this was a children's book and you use the Kids Book Creator, um, everything that you import into that has to be a PDF. So we might as well just save it as a PDF. I will save it. We already have one because I've already done a step-by-step -step to show you in the book. So I'll replace it. Say OK. And it'll be saved. And that's really all you have to do to change the image size. 
Now say um, we wanted to make this smaller. So we're going to change the image size to, say we wanted to put more than one thing on the page. So we just want this to be like 2.5 inches. Oops, 2.5 inches. Okay, so we're going to save it. 2.5 inches, see it's just a lot smaller. We may want to put four or five of these on a page. We're just going to see what it looks like. So we're going to go over here and we're going to cut it out as a rectangle. If you hit control and then tap it, you can do rectangular, elliptical, marquee, single. This is a circle, let's do elliptical. Okay, for elliptical, you want to get it right up at the top over here so that we can make sure that the um, circle starts right here. I'll show you why in a minute. We're going to go like this and see how the circle moves. All right, we want to make sure we get all of the circle in there. Looks good to me. Okay, so we're going to go here to edit and we're going to copy. Okay, now our page is going to be 8.5 by 11. Now it'll automatically go to the size you just copied. Well, we don't want that. We want to make it in inches, and we want to change it to the size of our book page, which is going to be 8.5 by 11. Okay, and we want to do this so that we can see how many of these images we'll be able to put on there. Okay, so this is our background. We can go ahead and use white. Um, you can change it. Let's say, let me show you if I go back to new. You can change the background contents. You can make it um, any color you want. You can make it transparent, other. We're just going to leave it white because that's that would be perfect for us. Okay, so we're going to cancel because we don't need to create anything different. We're going to go up to edit and we're going to paste what we just saved. Okay, so it looks like we can fit more than one on there. So let's go up here to edit, transform, and scale, and that means that we can move this. Not only can we move it, we can make it smaller, bigger, we can do whatever we want. Okay, so we want to keep it right here. Hit enter, so it's going to stay. So we want another one of those. We want it right here. We're going to go up to edit, back down to transform and scale, and we're going to make it a little bit bigger. Okay, hit enter. Okay, now say that's the image that we want. We're just going to go right back up here to File, Save As, call it whatever we want. Let's call it Example 1, PDF, Save. And that's all you're going to have to do on the Photoshop part. Um, and you can do that with all of your images. 